in today's video we're going to look into why pathological narcissists don't change and actually get worse over time and this is because these people are trapped in a maze and they cannot get out you will hear me repeat often that pathological narcissists are people who have spiritual emotional and overall psychological arrested development Arrested development is when someone is stuck at an early stage of development. And here, this means somewhere between the age of toddlers to about 12 years old. This normally occurs due to various types of trauma, grief, or neglect. Understanding that human beings are multidimensional in nature will help you to better understand pathological narcissists. This is because we are spirits inside of a human body with the access to a mind as a tool. Now, the soul would be a similar equivalent to what the personality is or what the psyche is. So your soul or your personality is comprised of your mind, your willpower, and your emotions. While most sources online will only classify pathological narcissism or narcissistic personality disorder as a mental illness, it is a psycho-spiritual illness. What you really are dealing with is someone with a black or a dark soul. You're dealing with people that have accepted an evil spirit. And what is evil? Well, evil is anything against life, right? It is the opposite of life. We're talking about darkness, chaos, grief, torment. You're dealing with people that are stuck in their lower ego. They did not develop past their lower self. They are stuck in hell, right? They cannot move past the third dimension. So what we're talking about here is that era from shame up to pride. So various types of negative emotions. They are stuck in victim abuser consciousness. Any relationship that they get into will be a victim abuser type one. They are dealing with people who cannot experience positive emotions. Narcissists are not courageous people. They are not loving. They are not kind. They are not joyous. They are not peaceful. This is a recipe for toxicity because this person is unable to regulate their emotions. They are unable to let go of shame, to let go of guilt, to let go of grief and fear and anger and pride. And because they're unable to let go, they are unable to ascend. They are unable to grow. When I say that narcissists are filled with pride, what I mean by that is they do not believe that anything is wrong with their behavior. If someone doesn't believe that anything is wrong with their behavior, they believe that they are perfect and perfect people do not need to change. If you're perfect, then you don't need to grow. A cycle of shame, blame, and rage. And because narcissists won't let go of their pride, well, if you can't go up, you're going to go down back to shame. This shame is pathologically low self-esteem. So narcissists do not love themselves. They believe that they are innately unworthy. As spiritual beings, we are here to ascend, we are here to raise our vibration, raise our consciousness to get to the highest level possible. This is what you call enlightenment, your Buddha consciousness, Christ consciousness, and so on. Pathological narcissists stopped ascending a very long time ago. They gave up on life. Hence, they are evil. They are against life. They are anti-social. This is why you cannot build with a narcissist. They have destructive energy. This is why you cannot hold a narcissist accountable. You have to have the courage to be vulnerable enough to be accountable. And narcissists exist below the line of courage. I hope that 